Black Stink, the soap opera without the soap, had an epic coon melee in the streets of New York back in September of 2014. Now the video footage was just aired on the show a few nights ago. And while I may have seen the violent, vulgar, and disturbing footage back in September of 2014, and it is now April of 2015, I had no idea up until now why it all transpired. Here's the rundown. Walt, the shop's assistant manager, had a modeling gig at the Sabbath New York City Fashion Showcase during New York Fashion Week of 2014. Walter invited Caesar and Duchess and some other shop members to the showcase and unbeknownst to him, Puma was set to walk down the runway in the same show. Now Puma is of course still mad at Caesar at this point over their fight at the Black Ink Tattoo Shop. You know the fight where Puma started Coon War 3 by dropping a saucy chicken wing on the floor? And Caesar took out all of his bald headed frustrations by slinging Puma's skinny ass on the coffee table like a backyard wrestling match? Yeah, that fight. Also, Puma is still mad about Caesar coming to his doorstep with Big Joe causing Kwani to have a mild heart attack. Puma's body may be hurting like a drug addict going through withdrawal after that ass whooping that Caesar gave him. However, his pride is what's hurting the most. At this point, he's so mad he feels the need to confront Caesar and smack him upside his bald head with a bottle in order to make Kwani feel safe and protected. So Caesar and Duchess arrive late on CP time, no not colored people time, crusty people time. So Caesar and Duchess arrive late. And when they get there, Puma has already changed his clothes from the event and is, it, he appeared to be either waiting outside for them or just happened to come outside when they show up. So he runs over towards Caesar and Duchess along with a group of people. Everybody's yelling and cursing and acting a goddamn fool. Then things got physical. And no, I'm not talking about some old workout shit from the 80s. Let's get physical. No, none of that shit. Things got physical. People were getting punched and knocked down. And at some point, Puma snatches up a big bottle to knock Caesar the fuck out with. Thankfully, someone grabbed the bottle and after some minor scuffles, Everyone walked away and went home alive and life goes on. All I know is this, at the end of the day, I'm so glad my two favorite former cast members were not there in harm's way at all. And those two ladies are of course Alexandra Estevez from season one, who was the receptionist, and Caesar's sister, Tiffany Winter, who starred on season two. Now those two ladies are the reason why I began watching this ratchet mess and since they aren't on the show anymore and they have moved on to better things, I just may not watch the show come season 4. I mean it's just not the same without them. The negative stereotypes, the senseless arguments and ratchetness on the show is almost unbelievable. I mean these are brown people in Harlem, New York in 2015 fighting over spilled chicken wings. Literally. You can't make this shit up. I mean, this cunacopia is so bad because it's like having a gash in your head that just won't heal. It just gets bigger. You know what I mean? It's like a gaping hole that just keeps on freaking gaping. I don't know how else to describe it. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channel. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Black Stink, the soap opera without the soap. Meat Magazine. Yes, Jesus. Meat Magazine.